Hello, this is Anonymous. It has been discovered by Anonymous that several high-level managers within the Church of Scientology are currently working in the United Kingdom without the appropriate work permits. They are effectively working and living in the country as illegal immigrants. This information has been passed to the UK Border Agency, who are now mounting an investigation. This information concerns the following individuals. US citizen Maya Dube, commanding officer of the Commodore's Messengers Organization UK, Canadian citizen Janet Lavote, head of the Office of Special Affairs UK, Scientology's Intelligence Division, Bob Bledsoe of the United States, commanding officer of the Continental Liaison Office UK, John Dana Lavoc of the United States, captain of the Advanced Org St. Hill UK, Australian Colin Davy, commanding officer of the Flag Operations Liaison Office UK, Melanie Schwen of the United States, Deputy Religious Technology Center Representative UK, Lucky Story of the United States, Executive Director of London Org, information obtained by Anonymous strongly suggests that a scheme to attempt to circumvent the work permit requirements of the United Kingdom is being used on a regular basis. The source of this information is documentation that was carelessly discarded by a law firm retained by the Church of Scientology in the UK. This information has now been passed to the proper authorities. The method to this scheme is as follows. Scientology staff members acquire a visitor visa prior to entering the UK, then just before this is due to expire, they fly to an airport within France or another country within the European Union. From there they fly to Dublin or Cork in Ireland where they stay overnight, getting the visa stamped in Ireland enabling them to travel back to the United Kingdom under another visitor visa. The Church of Scientology will undoubtedly attempt to attack Anonymous for revealing this information and attempt to discredit said information. This is to be expected. However, journalists and other interested parties should be able to independently corroborate it via other sources now that the technique used has actually been revealed. Anonymous is aware that this is a highly serious allegation, however, the Border Agency of the United Kingdom is taking this matter very seriously. Anonymous suggests that any journalists who wish to follow up on this story contact the Border Agency for further comments and unofficial response. Anonymous also expects these members of staff to be reassigned as soon as the cult hears of this investigation. This may already have happened and if the Church of Scientology attempts to suggest that these people have already left the UK and never worked in the country, then this will be what. However, a paper trail and evidence of their actions will still exist and Anonymous is confident that the UK border agency will be thorough in their investigation. It is not Anonymous that is guilty of crimes, but rather the Church of Scientology that has neither respect for the law nor personal freedoms. Their attempts to circumvent immigration laws is further evidence of this, as are the growing number of assaults perpetrated by Scientologists worldwide against Anonymous protesters several of which have been filmed and documented. The release of this information and the full cooperation of Anonymous with the Border Agency of the United Kingdom should speak for itself, and is in direct contrast to the Church of Scientology's disregard for anything other than furthering its own agenda. Regardless, Anonymous finds humor in the fact that the Church of Scientology's United Kingdom operation has been caught in this way. Furthermore, Anonymous will be informing other immigration officials across the globe of the current violations in the United Kingdom being committed by the Church of Scientology. Anonymous promised new and invigorated tactics to be revealed on 8, 8, 0, 8, and as always, Anonymous delivers. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.